Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with something new, and today we'll be jumping into Bio Mutant, where we play as a little critter trying to save the world from toxic and saving the tree of life from world eaters and whatnot. Welcome to Bio Mutant. I played a little bit just to kind of get the settings going. I think we got it pretty good. Play on medium. Encode your DNA. Alrighty, so what's important in this game is that melee isn't the greatest. It's really used for like destroying shields. Guns are your main damage dealers, unfortunately, in the game at the moment. They might change it later, but not now. I think what we're gonna go with is just the look. So a primal. Define your genetic structure. You know, do you wanna make them like tall? To be honest, I think it doesn't even matter. Maybe making him a little bit skinnier. Maybe something like that. Choose a genetic resilience. Resistance wise, I haven't really played as far into it at all, so I haven't really found any resistance, but we'll go with like a little bit more cold. Maybe like a little tin with the balance and everything else. Choose your first style. And first style here. I think we're, we're gonna roll with those two stripes in the face because we can change the colors. Pick your main color. I'm gonna make it something vibrant, like a purple. Choose your detail color. For secondary, I think we're gonna go crazy. Apparently you can make it brighter or darker, ooh. That looks nice, actually, a dark black with the purple. You know what, let's roll with that. Pick a class. Mercenary. Okay, so you got the mercenary melee weapons inflict 2% more damage. That would actually be the one to go for because, you know, melee in this game is not that good. Deadeye. Commando. Deadeye. Your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly and your next magazine is granted 20 damage. Ooh. Commando. Deadeye. You know what, let's go with the dead eye just for that reloaded instantly. That'd be like quicker. Dead eye chosen. Sounds good. Let's jump in. Yeah, that purple goes really well with the black. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Oh, it looks like I need to turn off my phone. All right. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. So I'm Dark Red is kind of like the bad one or he is, you assume he's bad and then the color me light blue guy he's light so you assume he's good so we'll just go with the the freedom and loyalty let me introduce myself i'm the light and bright side of you or your inner voice to be precise an echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward seems more like you're being light-headed if you ask me but you'll come around eventually But what comes around goes all the way back around. So it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. Gotta be evil. In your nature? And here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Ha! Natural selection is all about evolution and progress. And as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. <laughs> she just knocks him out with a little hammer. All right, it's interesting because you can't have light without darkness and vice versa. Right is always right. 
And we'll just always follow the right pathway, apparently. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Gnaw on his flesh, you weird cat monster with a giant blade. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. I wonder if that's the predator. Lupa Lupin. We'll just smack him. I'm trying to figure it out here. How is the reload? So it's not an instant as I thought. We're gonna do a little melee. We can hit him with our big old blade here. Oh, he wants us to parry. I don't think we parried there, unfortunately. There we go. Viper bite. Let's move in and then hit him. That's a pretty nice little hit. Little backflip. Rabbit's fury. And destroy his uh, club. for it this is not the time nor place to end this story i wonder if you could like you know finish him <laughs> you know kill him maybe get something out of it that'd be pretty neat i think we should just kind of run away it's a nice looking little mine a little sea mine this time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Okay, let's run away from the explosion. Okay, we should be good. We only have the pistol. This decent damage is slow. And we got a two-handed blade. And we get a very infamous looking room. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began and the tree of life started to die. They look like mole rats. Yeah, we do some melee. Okay, when ammo indicator is red, you can perform a quick reload. I want to figure out how do we do a quick reload here. It's gonna kind of shoot here. Okay, so I guess we want to reload before we fully go empty. I'm assuming. Let's do some damage with the melee. Avoid that guy, apparently. Okay, that's pretty neat. Okay, yeah, I see what I see what's going on. So yeah, we want to reload right before we go empty. Kaboom. Got him. <laughs> A critical hit too at a 189. All right, is there anything of value in here? Can we check their bodies? Maybe later. But yeah, those mole rat looking things. I didn't know I was playing Fallout. All right, let's jump up here. For no reason. These weird egg sack looking things. Oh, we got a box. Electric module. Does some electric damage. We might as well equip that to the pistol. Okay, let's equip it. And now, you know, if we face an enemy that's weak to electricity, we'll be pretty good. 
medical supply bag and a little health pouch there's a little bit of healing let's not go the way we're supposed to go let's check out this weird room got a toilet very sanitary small health pack nothing questionable about the green uh, toilet I guess we'll just go up the chain. Well, the would be better. Yeah, you're not wrong, but it'd probably take us forever to get up a ladder. We had that issue with Days Gone. It took forever. Remember to parry enemy attacks, and we got a sludge soaker. The oil sludges everywhere. For most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment. Damn right. Evolution has its ways. Okay, but it won't let me reload when we have the electricity. Oh, I think it, it automatically uh, ended already, so we only have like one clip of it. Let's get rid of his little buddy. Oh yeah, the pistol took easy work out of him. Little monkey monster guy here. Dandy candy. A lot more health than what we got. 200 actually. Look at that nice looking piece of candy though. Got a little heart on it. He might have been in the sludge, but he had a good tasting candy. And a dandy. It's got two little flowers of cherries there at the bottom. What is that? Okay, I guess we got some building parts. And I think we're good to keep on moving. What the hell was that? We must be on the other side of the door. Smack him. Oh shit. I needed to reload. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I think we just shoot the barrels when he picks them up. Oh, didn't I reload it correctly? Oh, come on. I dodged that. It looks like it's quicker to to dodge when you're reloading. Oh, that was a weird one. Oh, is he dead? I shot him so quickly that he died like mid pickup with the barrel. More goodies. Did you drop anything? Your weapon could be, I guess, destroyed for scrap. And an energy pack. And a sweet meat. Looks like a grape candy in a green leaf thing. Maybe some like, I don't know. Look at that sludge. I wonder, would you instantly die if you fell in there? Hmm. Might have to just try that out here pretty soon. But you know what I just realized? Our guy's not... I don't think he's actually like black. I think he's like a very dark green. I guess that works though. Check out the environment. Looks like they might have like a mine or something down in here. Ooh, what is that? Iron wall. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break them with a melee attack before you can deal actual damage. Okay, well. Oh, got smacked by him, apparently. Oh, blocked him. Okay, we destroyed his little shield. Start doing some damage. Of course, I gotta reload it after I shoot the first shot. Oh, he's moving. We got him, though. Yeah, the pistol's just overpowered. Where's your buddies at here? Tongue tickly. You know, if any candy's making your tongue tickle, it might be not good for you. Yeah, where's his buddies at? Got rid of him. Oh, he's got a gun. And we got an upgrade point. We leveled up. Let me check their bodies first, though. Dandy candy. Check out the map here. 
We got the uh, tree of life and its roots to bosses or whatnot. And character. Guns are super overpowered in the game, so I'm kind of thinking about doing a luck build with the critical chance and the loot chance so we can get better weaponry, better items, and whatnot. Probably luck and a vitality so we get like really tanky. That's more like it. Ranged combat, guns, and we'll do a crane dance BXRT. Finish your melee chain by fan firing your gun. Okay, we'll try it out. Okay, we have Wong Fu and perks, but can't really do nothing there. Non automatic rifles inflict 20% more attack. Ooh. Perfect reload. Your loot chances increase. And we might want to go with a charmer too, you know, just so we can have like conversations with individuals. We might want to work on that. We might get like unique, you know. Unique conversations that could lead to, you know, unique items or look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. A crowbar. What do they call it in this game? Old world claw bar. Neat. I guess we're going to the other door. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. You know, you think you'd use the claw bar on the door, not a pipe. Just destroy the pipe instantly. Whoa. Time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. All right, that looks like toxic sludge over there. Can we go faster? Yes, we can. Look at him run. Oh, look at that evil looking thing. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed. Look at these weird looking things. Wow, we're doing some weird oh, fucking man. jumping right now. Oh, I have to reload, unfortunately. Special attack. There we go, I did it. Crane dance, there we go. Don't ask me how I did it, but we did it. It's kind of weakened one of them here. Do a little bit of melee. And I just blasted them away. All right, let's get this one. There it is, the crane dance. Oh, he hit me. Damn, that crane dance doesn't mess around though. He shoots a lot. Gives us some special powers. Those are the kind of things you need. Bio points. What can we use those on though? Go to the mutation tab to unlock psi powers, biogenetics, and to upgrade your resistance. Oh, over here. What is this? Press the input you have bound the ability to while facing an enemy. This will affect any small humanoid enemy hit. While infected, enemies will attack their allies instead of you. To oh, vile fungi. Now I heard that like bio points or a uh, side power is actually kind of difficult to get. So you want to be very careful with what you unlock. So I think we're going to hold off on the uh, bio points until we get a little bit more. Just kind of see like what, like how many points we get. Because we might want to get something fancy here. Maybe not turtle form, but uh, mud punch looks nice. Mucus bubble. Oh, actually, you know what? I kind of would like a storm hop. Not going to lie. 
But yeah, we'll see. If we get a whole bunch of bio points or whatever, we'll start buying a whole bunch of things. Keep hauling yourself into the air. Well, come on, get up there. We'll just have to play it, you know, as the game goes and kind of see. The only reason why I think we might get more points is because we can put it into resistances and stuff like that. So I feel like it should be pretty generous on them. Oh, that looks like a UFO. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Kind of neat that they used an arc, so maybe that symbolizes that we weren't, you know, good enough to get on the orc arc, or this might be the place that they ran off to, one or the other. What do we got here? Rotation puzzle. You found a puzzle. They are scattered around the world. Some open new paths while others feature different rewards. Switch the node to rotate the node. And this is the number of rotations you have left. And it's dependent on our intelligence. So there we go. And we got it apparently. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. So we get to see kind of what happened to the planet. They got a little carried away with the radiation. <laughs> They're just throwing it everywhere. Let's go in here. All right, let's see what we can run into in here. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. You tell me we can electrocute ourselves here? It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Okay, pretty simple here. I think we just got put white to white and yellow to yellow oh wrong way and for this one we need to go just a few moves left make them count yeah I guess we'll just keep on going this way barely got it one move left there you go okay we just gotta get used to the puzzles and the correct way that we need to move them there's a guy in a wheelchair. Out of date. Counter enemy attacks will stun them. And then we can launch it up in the air. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. The wheeled one. Look at them, they're going to pick on a old innocent old man. Oh damn it, we have to re we always have to reload. Let me just whack him. <laughs> Let me just sneak up on him. Okay, hold on. Let me use the, the crane dance that we got here it's pretty neat though you know the look of crane dance or whatnot 
It like does so much damage to like one guy. Like just why shoot him when you can just crane dance inst like all the time. Oh, except when we reload. Let me smack this guy. We'll try to help out the injured old man. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. As I shoot the wheeled one with my pistol. All right, let's check their you bodies. You should be able to use that. A bunch of dainty. Actually, let's actually use some health here. We have something small, 150, 200. Maybe just the small one. Oh, I think I used a lot there. Oh, can we go up here? Oh, no, we can't. We gotta go talk to the, uh, the old wheeled one. See what he has to say to us here. Man, look at our eyes, though. It's so intimidating with the red and the dark green and purple. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. On a whole nother point, I like the soundtrack going on in the background here. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Let's figure out what unity is here. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. By default, dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next. Yep, that's what we want. Way back in the long ago. Look at us, we're a little weird creature I can barely see it on the screen look at that tail though all right let's run over here I think is it me or that guy look like Elvis <laughs> even sounds like Elvis asks if you were tired as it's a bit of a hike here from the village he wonders if your Muma knows you are here I hope I told her. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here. To see them, the potato people. The potato people, or Nono, 
are a wonder, somehow interlinked with this little tree here, fueling its source of life. You're telling me there's little potatoes running around? <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Alrighty. Let us make the potato people go extinct by eating their flesh for power. I mean, that's what anybody would do in this, uh... You know, in this opportunity. Oh, look, he does this weird little fucking sound when he does these jumps as a child. Alright, let's do some fall damage here. Jump into the pole. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, okay. I think this is like Days Gone where you go in the water and you'll drown once you run out of energy. Ruffle the glitter grass. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. We'll do that one. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> you need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Damn, we got the hoop. Let's whack the shit out of this little potato. We can interact with them? Oh, oh, he's running. Smack the shit out of him. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. I guess we'll find him in those, like, glitter grass or whatever, so we'll just ask how many we need. Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come, so countless, he'd say. <laughs> One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. All right, Elvis, I'll listen to you. The god, the king. So yeah, I guess we'll have to find those weird flowers growing around the world and smack them a little bit, scare them, and catch them with the net, quote unquote, gently. Because apparently we don't do that shit. We go fucking hard. We go ham with the net. All right, let's merge the potato person to the tree. Oh, actually, we can do a little running. Look at that little tree of life. Grew out some big ass roots too. Damn. I'm getting Resident Evil flashbacks. To the mold. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. 
the land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. Let's be a good little child here. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. I ended up down and killed them all. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. Who are, wherefore, where he says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. Let's talk about the, uh, um, let's do uh, the end of days. Records tell of the ruinous devastation the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land. The apocalypse sparked a re-evolution, the second coming, and our lineage. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the murk puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the midget and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of the east route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the goo glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Porky Puff? Sure, let's talk about that. He claims names have power, so he gave them these names to weaken them. For him, the Porky Puff is particularly personal. It was that carnivorous beast that took his leg. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. He's Elvis? My god, Elvis has changed. He's gotten super old. We're gonna have to kill that porcupuff though. Goddamn, ate his leg. What the hell? Let's do some weird jump in here. That's pretty neat though. They got some weird names in this game though. Guess we'll open the door. You're getting the hang of it. Oh well, at least now we actually use the crowbar correctly. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. All right, so we just have to exit the bunker. But I think we're going to stop here today, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the links below, smash the like button, and in the next one we'll climb the rope, we'll get out of here, and we'll check out the new world up above.